Well, here we are then. The final episode is here, guys. It's it. It's the last one. No more F1 2020 cards from this point onwards. I've got one more league race lined up and that's it. From this point on, we'll be doing the F1 2003 mod and then we're going to move on to F1 2021. So a massive thank you for the support guys on this series. The previous episode we linked up in the top right. Now for this episode, before we jump into it, let's try and smash over 1,200 likes guys for the final episode. And um, yeah, we're going to go for a code word for this one and say Williams. Yeah, Williams as a code word. Why not? Let's just throw it in there. So it lets me know uh, you guys are supporting the series. But as you can see in the background, for the final time this season, we look at the progression chart and we are going to end the season as the second fastest team and on the heels of Mercedes. So in the end, we kind of got there and the upgrades, you know, played their part. With that said, we moved into practice and we had a pretty decent session for the final time, putting away a few more R&D points, overall 1,037 to be exact taking our total to 3,282. So we'll be spending those hopefully in the next episode. I'm going to do one more off season inverted commas slash what would have happened episode basically. And then dare I say, I might even squeeze out one more to see if I can go below one set, uh, one minute lap time at Austria, but we'll see how that goes. Either way for now, there's going to be one more episode penciled in for the kind of season four pre-season in a way uh, just to see what would have happened during the off season because there is a regulation change planned in between this season and the next one nonetheless moving into qualifying into q1 and a pretty routine session we go p3 on our first lap setting a 29.6 purple sector three and that lap would be enough to move us into q2 george russell 29 five pretty good pace as well as both cars progress into q2 and things are looking pretty decent so far in Q2, this was my best lap of qualifying, so let's enjoy it for the final time. Hopefully you guys like the engine sounds. There it is, across the line, 29.3 and P1, fastest of everybody. And that is going to lock us into Q3 and starting the race on the soft compound tyre. George Russell just got through in P10. His pace was actually quite a bit slower than Q1, so a bit of a surprise there. And uh, Gasly, the fastest in the Red Bull. We then moved to Q3, Nightfall was upon us, and this was it now. All or nothing, maximum send, and Q3 did not go exactly according to plan through turn three i get a bit of a correction there which just sends me offline i go for a spin and i retaliate hitting the wall and the front right rips off the car and that is going to be the end of our qualifying session you can see just there i get a bit of a snap mid corner i try to correct it and yeah we go into the wall quite heavily and break off the right front suspension so that's going to be the end of qualifying and our final qualifying of the season ends on a bit of a, a damp note, a bit of a whimper. But nonetheless, overall, it's been a great season. Of course, we're not fighting for anything in this race, purely just for pride. And we're going to start the last race 
in Abu Dhabi from P10. George Russell in P4 in the other coach is great to see. Mercedes on pole with Bottas, Gasly on the front row as well. And yeah, overall, we're going to have the full support from you guys in chat, of course, and also the birds outside, the best fans, of course. Big shout out to the birds all season long. But guys, that's it for qualifying. We're now going to move into the final ever race of the Williams Road to Glory. Welcome to the Yas Marina circuit for the finale of another thrilling Formula One season. It's been a breathtaking year and we end it at a track that's been the scene of many glories and heartbreaks over its history. It's time to end the season in style. It's time for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn eight and turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Martinez. They've had a fantastic campaign. It's been a wonderful year, and they come into this weekend's Grand Prix as a fully deserving champion. It really is well deserved. I wouldn't say it's been a faultless title challenge, but certainly one that has been consistent and well managed. Here's hoping they let off a bit of steam today and give us an exciting race. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position with Pierre Gasly alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Albon, Russell, Lewis Hamilton and Ocon, Leclerc, Norris, Martinez and Daniel Ricciardo, Sainz, Perez, Daniel Kvyat and Stroll, De Vries, Matsushita, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kevin Magnussen. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty and Romain Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. You know what? Let's just get down to business and let's throw down in Abu Dhabi. Okay, let's throw down then. For the final time, the five lights are on in Abu Dhabi. Five lights and away we go. Oh, that's a poor start. Quite a bit of wheel spin there as we try to defend. We're going to go to the outside into turn one here. We've got a 3-1 action between Ocon, Leclerc and Norris. These guys are still going at it right now as we go around the outside of Ricardo through turn two. Exit of three, Ricardo is still keeping his nose in. As we go side by side into five and six. Going to have to be a little bit careful here with the Alpine. Now into the hairpin, I'm going to try and take a nice wide line. Try and get the exit down. That's good. Losing out a little bit on acceleration as always. We might get the second phase. You can see the Ferrari is lacking a bit of straight line speed as Ocon gets past the clerk. We're going to try and get Ocon as well here. Up the inside. Long way round. Yes. Lovely. Double over table. We'll take those. Now we've got to try and stay ahead, which I think we will. So we're up to P7 already. Lando Norris in P6. And then ahead of him is Lewis Hamilton. So if we can clear Lando relatively quickly, that would be great news for us. I believe George Russell's in P2. So what a start from George. Bottas P1 are leading the way for Mercedes. Let's try and give George a hand and try and get both Williams on the podium for the final time in this season. Well, the car feels insane already. I feel like I've got a lot of pace and I want to use it. Here we are, tucked in behind Lando. We're going to set him up for the hairpin. Try and pick up a late apex and a nice clean exit. There you go. This should be good enough. We're going to drain the battery to try and get past the Macca. Looking like that McLaren's got some good straight line speed here. We're going to go down the inside though. Or maybe not. Lando actually goes defensive in the brake zone, which kind of put me off a little bit there. But we'll try and get him out of the second one. We'll try again. Here we go. Bit closer this time. We're not going to hesitate on the brakes. Going to send it the long way around. Keep a bit of throttle on to make sure we get the momentum. And there we go. Job done around the outside of Lando. Hamilton next in P5. Okay, so we've dropped Lando out of DRS range. We're now tucked in behind Hamilton. Further ahead, George Russell is probably going to get overtaken by one of the Red Bulls. I think it's Pierre Gasly who has got behind him. If not on this straight, then 
It will be on the next one. Wow, that was close. Almost running into the back of Lewis there. Feels like Hamilton doesn't have a lot of pace right now. And I think I could pass him here. He's not super close to Albon, so he's not getting much of a toe. Do you want to go for this? Do I fancy this? Damn right I do. Lovely stuff. Five bomb and a half, and we're straight up into P5. Now it's going to be two Red Bulls versus two Williams. Bottas absolutely storming away out front. Let's try and help Russell out here. Fastest lap, 33.7. Let's see if we can get past Alex Albon here. He's not super close to Gasly, so it could be a similar move to the Hamilton one, to be honest. So Albon will have DRS, but he hasn't really got much of a slipstream effect. Through the chicane, let's keep it nice and tidy to try and keep the gap nice and close. And then we'll run a little bit wide at the hairpin on purpose to come in for a late apex. There we go. Lovely, great traction. And right on the gearbox of the Red Bull. This should be a pretty simple move. Forcing Albon to go defensive. Now we just got to try and outbreak him here. Oh my god, that's a bit too much. But we made it work. I have to force him off as we get a, new, a different strategy here. Okay, copy that. Not really interested. I'm probably going to change my strategy slightly, but the actual tyre compounds won't change. So yeah, let's get off the gas. You now he's next, but we can definitely win this race. Hamilton, meanwhile, battling with Albon behind us, which is going to be good news because they'll both drop out of DRS range. Let's see what happens here. We'll actually go for the move on George. We're about to find out. Hamilton behind out of DRS range. Nice exit again there. To be fair, George's doing a good job. He's keeping a, a fairly decent gap to Gasly. But look at this. I'm forcing Gasly to drain his engine mode. And as a consequence, he's going to go for the move on George. I'm going to sit back at the moment and just wait. We might be able to get them both here. If I line up the cutback through here. There we go. Now we just got to wait. Russell has DRS. So we're going to use him to get through here. We're going to make it three wide-ish. Taking the shortest line. And there we go. We're through and up into second place. Not really affecting George or his actual position. So, lovely stuff. Two Williams in the top three. Let's go after Bottas. But this race has race win written all over it for us. What an incredible start to the race. Gasly passes George. I do wonder if uh, Russell has run out of ERS probably. Could be pretty realistic after seven laps of defending. Meanwhile, we're catching Bottas. Gap now 1.7. I meant to pit this lap, but I don't really want to. I want to try and go long, realistically, to make this soft, medium, soft work. So I'm probably going to pit around lap 9. We'll see what Russell does. Hopefully he pits his lap, but if not, the next one. I don't want to ruin his race. What? Huh? Huh? Hang on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. No way. Three warnings! What? Uh, I don't know. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to be a spanner in the works. Bottas pits. And not just that. It's given me three warnings. So in theory, I believe every warning I get now, I'm going to get a penalty. Hmm. George is coming in for his stop. Anyway, in lap time. Let's push. George is in the pit lane so we can pit this lap. So let's crack on. Use all the battery we have saved up. And let's see if we can... Try and overcut Bottas. Right, time to pit this lap then and see if we can pull off said overcut. I can't believe that penalty. I'm absolutely shocked. I've I've seen it before at this corner right here. Um, the, the right hander, not the last corner, but the one before the penultimate corner. On the exit, sometimes that happens. But I've never seen that on a different corner of this track. That, for me, is a new one for me to write down in the book. Either way, let's pit then for a set of mediums. We've done a good job of extending the first in. Come on, boys. Good stop here. 2.6. Meh. I think we're going to rejoin behind Valtteri. It'll be close, but we'll be behind him. Through the tunnel we go. Here comes Valtteri right now. Actually, this is going to be neck and neck. This is very, very close. But we're ahead. Yes, we've just done it. Oh, to be fair, Valtteri's pushing. I'm going to try and outbreak him. Go the long way around here. Bottas will have DRS, so I'm going to have to probably defend quite a lot here but we've managed to make the overcut work and that is a great exit out of the hairpin there just give myself a bit of breathing room let's see if Valtteri goes for it I'm gonna just keep the ERS on and look at that Mercedes not even really catching me on the straight which is insane 
All right, nice. So we've taken the net race lead, unless some of those guys are mediums decide to one-stop. If they do one-stop medium to hard, then could be an interesting race, especially Ricardo, who is the lead car, I believe. He's got signs right behind him. Those two, we have to catch them and then put out three seconds. So I do hope they one-stop it. We're going to go flat out now to the end of the race to try and, you know, pull out a three-second gap at least to Bottas. Stroll pits. So the signs. And does Ricardo pit as well? Yes, he does. So a full house. In that case, they're probably going to two-stop it. So never mind. I was looking forward to a bit of a battle, but if they're two-stopping, I think they've gone for another set of mediums. So we are now P1 in this race. Net P1. And we have the more favourable strategy. We've got a fresh set of soft saved up for later. So we can pretty much drive until the tyres explode, really. We can just go flat out. So we're going to get a personal best. And we're also going to get back our fastest lap as we improve by nearly a second. Tyres feel great. Fresh mediums. And we're into the 132s. We've got Bottas to pretty much two seconds now. So we're looking very good this race. And there I say, spoiler alert, I'm probably going to win. But let's see if we can make it as dominant as possible. And I think we're going to go back to back it. Yes, we are. 32.5, another two tenths shaved off. I can just keep pushing, man. Similar to Interlagos now, the car has hit that sweet spot where I can just drive this flat out. Gap to Bottas 3.2. We are chilling now. Yeah, forget it. Even when Russell's having a half decent race, he gets screwed over. So that second Williams car, man, it's just not where you want to be at all. It's amazing how George Russell's engine problems have caused an incredible peloton of cars. I'll zoom in on the minimap, but pretty much, I want to say like 14 cars are condensed into that one blob of colours battling right now for P5, which is insane. George is in the pits. George in the pits. Okay, interesting. So George pitting, that means he's going to go for mediums again. Hopefully that fixes the issues with his car and he can push on for the rest of the race, but I think he's pretty much going to finish out the points now, which is a real shame. Uh oh, yellow flag in the middle sector. I was thinking about stopping, but I'm going to wait and see what happens. Let's see, let's see. If it's a safety car, we should be okay. I can pit this lap, but it means I can put softs on if I stay out one more lap, which is this lap here. Perez out of the race, and it's a safety car. There it is. We're ahead of the safety car right now, so we're going to have to pretty much stay out. Everyone behind, though, is benefiting, so um, guys in Bottas in. But until the Delta goes away, which is when the first car catches the safety car, which I won't be catching it because I'm pitting. Here we go. Let's box this lap. Don't want to speed and exceed the Delta, so we'll keep it in green if possible. There we go. Into the pit lane now. We don't have to stick to the Delta so we can push. Nice little drift on entry. And there we go. Right, so we should be okay. I'll be very surprised if Bottas and Gasly be it are ahead of us i don't think that can happen physically mathematically it's impossible uh, the safety car is chilling at turn four fresh set of softs onto the car and it just means we've got to do about the same laps as the first in but on slightly fresher softs so there we go we're back on the way if anything we actually gained a bit of time so happy days all around and we're going to have the best tires and also everyone behind us are mediums so we should be able to wrap this up and get the three second gap quite comfortably unless something goes horribly wrong in this final stint but there's the safety car Let's go through this phase. Okay, safety car in this lap. So we're gonna get a bit of temperature in these tires because they're stone cold. I've been waiting until this very last moment to get some tire temp. I should do the trick though, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if um, we can get those rears fired up. That's the real key here. Trying to get some temp in the rear tires. We'll hopefully achieve that here on this little straight right now if I just gain a bit of speed. There we go, that should do the trick. And now we wait to pull away once the game gives me full permission to control and away we go straight away we're just going to pull the pin and absolutely yeet it on the restart let's give it maximum beans we want the fastest lap and the race win so let's give it everything we got and also let's try and drop Bartas out of DRS range ASAP out of DRS let's see if we've done enough though to secure a decent fastest lap 11 Sorry, 31.1. I don't know why I was saying 11, but job done. Ricardo and P5 on softs. Watch out for the Alpine. Could be a threat, a man to look out for. Possible late charge for the podium. 
We've got the gap we need now, one second. Now we need to build that up to three seconds. The AI will stop running full power on the next lap, so that will make things a bit easier for us. Gap now, three seconds to Bottas. Let's keep growing it because in the last couple of laps, we know the AI are going to push with full power. And they'll probably have better tires than me at that stage. My softs would have started to fade. So I need to keep pushing. I can't let off yet. This is going to be close. I don't know how much pace Bottas will have in hand, but when he's running full power, I'm expecting him to be quite quick. Two laps to go. He has to gain nine tenths per lap. That is possible. It depends when he turns his engine up. But right now, I've got no more pace in me. I'm giving everything every lap here. So it's in Bottas's hands, really. Whenever he wants to pull the pin, he can push. Well, this is it. Bottas hasn't actually gone on the rampage. It hasn't happened, which is very surprising. I think now he's starting to push as the Delta is starting to fall down, but it's too little, too late for Valtteri. And here we go, through the final few corners. What a race, what a performance. We messed up in Q3, we recovered in the race. And for the final time in this series, we win in Abu Dhabi. Get in. And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no catching them now then. We have a new World Drivers Champion. It's been a roller coaster season there, but they can go into the winter with their heads held high after an emphatic victory here today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams, and they've got the race win to prove it. Well, there we go then. That is it for the race. The curtain falls on the career mode series, guys. As you saw in the community post, we are going to probably do a mini series until F1 2021 drops in three weeks' time. Until then, that is it for F1 2020 as a package. And it's been good fun. We've done four seasons of my team, three seasons of the Williams Road to Glory, seven seasons in total. And I very much enjoyed it. The league racing as well was great fun. That was probably my highlight of the year, to be honest with you. But in terms of the final race results, we pick up the win. Even with the penalty, we managed to finish one second ahead of Bottas. Gasly P3 ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Ricardo P5, what a drive from him in the Alpine ahead of Sainz Kvyat. Albon, Norris and Leclerc. Out of the top 10 we have Ocon, Russell P12 with his car issues, Stroll, Verstappen, Magnussen, De Vries, Matsushita, Giovinazzi, Grosjean and Perez who retired. We look at the standings for the final time this year and we finish 64 points clear at the top of the standings. Russell finishes in P9 and then in the constructors we finish in second place 70 points adrift of Mercedes. So the ultimate goal this year which was to win the constructors we failed. It is what it is. I'd done my bit and we didn't get there. So yeah, overall guys, that is it for the series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's been good fun. Uh, we're now going to do one more episode as a special episode to pretty much see what would have happened if we'd gone into season four. Um, what upgrades would we have done? So I'm going to save all the admin work during the off season for that episode. So stay tuned for that. And you never know, I might have one more crack at doing Austria under a minute. Depends what upgrades we have on the car and if the Williams is fast enough. I'll give it a go. If the Williams is fast enough, I'll make a video out of it. Either way, guys, thank you for the support so much over the entire season. You've absolutely smashed it from the beginning. And I really can't thank you enough because F1 2020 as a game is pretty much a year old, which is insane. So all the support right now is very much appreciated. Guys, leave a like if you enjoyed that episode. Let's smash it over a thousand. Actually, let's smash it over 1,200 likes for this one, guys. I'm going to set a lofty target. Subscribe for more. We're going to be doing it all over again in F1 2021 with my team and even two-player career. So I'm very excited about that. 
so yeah do get subscribed guys it really helps me out and we're on the way to 70 possibly 75k who knows and um yeah guys a big shout out to all of you for support as always the members of the channel thank you so much for supporting as well and finally all of you who haven't watched the two videos on screen right now check them out if you haven't done so already but that is it from me here today thank you guys and i'll see you all next time